All right, third grade. Today we're on our second part of lesson two. It's on page 12 in your science book. You'll also need your notes, all right? Page 12. Page 12. All right? Awesome. Now, today we're focusing on stems. Yesterday we learned about roots, how the water is coming up through the plant so that the, food, so that the plant can make its own food. Can you imagine how funny that would be if plants had mouths that they would eat food? No, they all have their make their own food. So today we're going to learn about the stem, how stems help plants. A plant stem holds up its leaves, flowers, and fruit. Most plant stems have tubes that move water and minerals from the roots of the plant to the leaves. Other tubes carry food from the leaves of the plant to the stems and roots. Let's look at those two main jobs. First job was to hold up its leaves, flowers, and fruits. The second job then, the second job then was to Carry, carry food from the leaves of the plants. So carry minerals, water, and food. So it's carrying things throughout the plant, and then it's also holding up, holding up the leaves, the flowers, and the fruits above it. I'll get closer on that for a second so that you can see. If you need that for longer, please just go ahead and pause the video now, and then we'll get moving on. Excellent. Now, we have some special stems that we're going to read about, too. The pictures show some different kinds of stems. Some stems, called stolons, are thin and grow along the surface of the ground. These stems can grow roots and a new plant. Some stems, called vines, grow parts that wrap around objects that support the plant. Now, one example that you might have seen of stolons would be strawberry plants. So strawberry plants go spread out along the ground, and then new strawberries come from those stolons that are going out along the ground. Okay, those vines grow up, and if they climb, they can climb something, maybe it's a wooden trestle or something like that, and they actually wrap around and then keep going up, wrap around and keep going up. Grapes grow like that. Back in our text. Notice how thick cactus stems can be. Cactus stems swell up as they store water. The stems shrink as the plant uses water. Cactus stems also have a thick waxy covering to help keep them from losing water. This type of stem helps the cactus plant survive in a desert. So now we have some of those special jobs. Stolons. Grow new plants. Vines. Help support plants. And then the cactus helps store water. Once again, I'll get close for you. All right, go ahead and pause it here if you don't have that. When you're done, go ahead and press play again. Sorry, my camera's fighting me. All right. So this is a blown up picture of the middle of that cactus. So you can see the, the spines on the outside. And then this is swelling as they're taking in more water. So the water is stored here and that cactus is going to start swelling as it's holding all that water. 
Then water from the roots is what's passing through these tubes. So you got all these little tubes that's bringing that water up. Here's an example, a picture of that strawberry plant. The stolons from the strawberry plant are for growing new plants. Parts of some stems grow underground. When you eat a potato, you eat a stem part that is stored food underground. Underground stems can sprout new stems from buds such as the potato's eyes. That's the dark spot on a potato, that dark spot in the middle, that's the eye of a potato. These parts grow upward and become new plants. Some plants have stems with special features that help them survive. For example, some stems have thorns, spines, or stinging hairs to keep hungry animals from eating them. The spines growing out of this cactus stem are a special kind of leaf. Now, I remember when I was little, my brothers and I used to go play in the woods a lot. We had some of these trees behind our house where there was like some different things that we'd build forts and stuff like that. And sometimes we'd get some of those stems stuck on our clothes. Those thorns or spines or stinging hairs, some of those would get stuck in our clothes as we were out in the woods because a lot of those plants didn't want anything to eat them like those hungry animals, so they had those to protect themselves. You can see some examples there. So potato, that stem, was that that food that's growing, right? If the roots there are the little, the more narrow things, and then the potato is actually still part of the stem. There's an example of a vine, and then you can see a tree trunk is also a stem. That's a pretty big kind of stem, but it's still a stem. So, for the potato, you can write the potato stores food. Awesome. That's where we'll stop for today. We're done with the second part. With the second part of our second lesson. Tomorrow we're going to have a video for, for science class and then we'll pick it up again in our notes on Thursday. Make sure you put those notes back in your book. Just tuck it right in your book like this and then go ahead and shut your book so that those notes stay safe and you can get an awesome grade on that. Thanks, good luck on the rest of your work.